it my job to let men know what I think about these things. Now, the first off, you know, they all, this Smith person goes all into this whole, how we all offer our own uniqueness to relationships in, in general and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, we don't. There's a set of behaviors that men and women can exhibit. There's a finite amount of behaviors men and women can both exhibit. It's not really unique. It's sort of like a business deal. It's like there's only a limited amount of options you can go with with selling ice cream. So, yeah, let's go well, let's go down there. Now let's see number 1, compassion and empathy. Let's face it, no one is better at sitting alongside you and crying with you during a time of a difficult time than a woman. <laughs> oh man. Modern American women are the last women that you want to go to towards that. They lose respect for you. Like, if you're a man, like, women don't understand this, but if you're a man, you go to a, a woman for for this sort of stuff, you're going to get laughed at, and she's not going to take you seriously. Man, I got to tell you, when you show a sign of weakness, such as um, a weakness such as crying or stuff, she loses respect for you. Just saying, bro. I'm saying, you know, if if you're a brother in here and you hear this, just know that if you're going to get with a woman so you can have someone to be compassionate and empathetic with and to have someone to do that in return with you, you'd be better off just getting a therapist. You'll pay less and get more for your buck if you want compassion and empathy. Gut now number two is gut feelings. It's hard to explain why women just have gut feelings about certain decisions. Um, is this supposed to be a positive thing? I mean, when you consider the fact that women are more likely to get into these the fields of like they'll get a PhD in feminist socialist critique and all these other useless degrees. So I mean. It's been proven to show that women are just about useless when it comes to gut feelings. So, yeah. And if you're using that same mind, if you're going for a woman with that same mindset in a relationship, you're not going to get much out of it. Three, endurance through pain or illness. Ever heard the term of man cold? Men don't seem to get sick often, but when they do, they really do. Men seem to be wired differently. Somehow, they endure all the pain. Perhaps this is because of their ability to have children and the need to endure ch Uh, no. I'm, like, they don't really have to endure the, the pain of childbirth as much anymore. They can be knocked out cold with painkillers and stuff. Maybe that applied, like, a thousand years ago, but not really so much now. And, you know... And the reason why women can recover more quickly from illnesses than men is because of the fact that they go, they come forward quicker with, with stuff than men do. A man will break his leg and go into work the next day and just limp it off. If a woman gets so much as a paper cut, she has to go to the ER. Nurturing is number four. Women have a natural tendency to care for others in all ways possible. Uh, not anymore with the current modern day system, I might add. You know, basically, if you're at your weakest, that's a sign for a woman to get divorced with your ass, take what you have, and leave. So yeah, nurturing is out the window, and when you include abortion, and then plethora of other ways women can go about being deadbeat mothers... The nurturing side of women is just about absent. If you want a really nurturing woman, you're going to have to go with like a 50-year-old woman, if you're a brother out there. And the and if you're a young dude, that's your option. Just get with like a 50-year-old woman, and they will treat you like gold. Because they really have no other options at that choice, at that point in their lives. It's either you or their cat for the rest of their lives. So... They'll really treat you more significantly at that age. Five, support. 
A man needs someone who has his back. Well, if a man wants that, he just needs to get another man. Because quite frankly, like I said, with marriage and the, the family court system, like, you know, that's just about dead now. Like, I, like, chivalry has been dead for a while, and it looks like this Smith person really hasn't gotten up to date with the times. They tell their men that they are doing a great job and that they're all, they're are good at what they do. Oh, fuck that. Women, you know, I've found in my typical life, they're more likely to just tell a man that he needs to do better and never tell him what he's done a good job. The only time a man gets told yet he does a good job by a woman is that once he shows her the paycheck. Then that's when the compliments comes towards it. Number six, beauty. Women are just beautiful creatures. They have curves that men don't have. I mean, unless we're talking about transgender women. Now, I've seen some men that believe that they are women that look better than what real biological women look like. I mean, let's go with like Blair White, for instance. I would say a, uh, a biological man like Blair White beats out your typical woman on any day of the week. And that's not that's no homo on my part. That's just reality. So yeah, the you know, and besides, that's not really something that they bring in terms of in their relationship. That's just something I naturally know. Um, I mean, if I want a beautiful woman, I don't need to spend a lot of resources, time, and energy on that person. I can just get a prostitute. In or watch pornography, and either one is much cheaper and does not come with STDs or family court system. Humility. A woman possesses the humility needed to set aside her own needs and give support to her partner. Uh, no, not since abortion and stuff like that. It has been proven to me quite conclusively that a woman will put all of her needs and responsibilities first and say, screw you to every guy ever. You know, if her own needs and desires are not being met, she just tells the man to go fuck yourself. Which, you know, I mean, I don't necessarily disapprove of. I mean, I do that to all the guys that I know of, even my friends. But I'm just saying that this is not really a, a quality that women possess. At least not anymore. You know, just about everything women have been said to have offered a man in the past, like, such as sexual gratification and children, they've willingly given that up for whoppers and abortions. I'm just saying, man, if a man wants a beautiful woman, he has to travel overseas to, let's say, Japan or Brazil. That's about his only shot with, um, with real beautiful women. If he looks in America, it's just not going to happen. Well, that is all for today. This is Mr. Brass saying goodbye and get wise.